Okay, hey everyone, welcome back to my another video tutorial. It's been a long time. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable virtualization uh, on your computer, laptop especially, uh, Lenovo laptop, especially Lenovo ThinkPad E440 because that's my laptop. Um, yeah. To enable virtualization, you need to get access, get into your BIOS setting. Okay, so now you're gonna turn on your uh, laptop. Turn on your laptop, and as soon as your screen turn on, you need to press F1 right away. As soon as your laptop screen turn on, press F1 right away. F1. Oh no, I think I was late. I think I was late to press F1. My bad. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Let's turn it off. Okay. As soon as your screen turn on, press F1. Oh crap! I didn't do it again. My bad. So the point here is to press F1 before your computer or your laptop get into the operating system so you need to press F1 as soon as your screens turn on before it get into the operating system that's the point okay so I figured out why it's not working I'm so stupid I forgot uh, you need to disable the fast start up first so right now on your Windows you press Windows plus R okay and this box will show up, run, and just type in powercfg.cpl, powercfg.cpl, okay, and then hit on OK. Okay, now this box show up. So, uh, go to uh, this tab right here, choose what the power button does, okay, click on it. And yeah, scroll down to shut down settings. And yeah, you need to uncheck this box. Turn on fast start up. Uncheck this one. So right now, as you guys can see, I can't turn it off. So if you can't turn it off, go up again and click on this one. Change setting that are currently unavailable. Click on it. And yeah, now you can turn it off. Uncheck it. Turn on fast start up. Uncheck it. And yeah, save changes and there you go okay now my laptop is turned off i've already disabled the fast start up so let's get to the point right now turn on your laptop again and as soon as your laptop screen is turned on you need to press f1 to get into the bio setting f1 there you go you will hear like a beeping sound like beep like that and yeah, it means you're succeeded to get into the bio setting. Uh, so here we are in the bio setting. Uh, to move around uh, or to scroll to move around, you need to press arrow key on your keyboard because your mouse is not going to be working here. You need to press arrow key on your keyboard to move around and press enter to confirm. Right now, let's go to the security tab. Okay, security tab. And you will see down there, there's a virtualization. Uh, yeah, click on it, press enter. Uh, yeah, when the first time you open this setting, it should be disabled. It should be disabled here when the first time you open it up. Uh, because I've already turned it on, because I've already enabled the virtualization, that's why it's enabled right now. But for you, it should be disabled when the first time you open this, because I've already enabled it, that's why it's enabled. Okay. Just press on enter. You can choose this to disable or enable it. Of course, you wanna enable it. Okay, yeah. And after you enable the virtualization, uh, you need to press F10 to save and exit. So right now, why it's important sometimes to turn on uh, virtualization? Because sometimes on some software, uh, like example like BlueStacks. Uh, you need to enable virtualization to make the software run smoother and run properly. 
sometimes some software need you to uh, turn on virtualization to make them to make the software run properly. That's why it's important sometimes on some software to turn on virtualization to enable it. So yeah, that was it. That's how you enable virtualization. And just don't make the same mistake as me. Uh, don't forget to disable the fast start up first. You need to disable the fast start up first to get into the BIOS setting. So that was it for tutorial on how to enable virtualization on Lenovo for ThinkPad E4 all. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you think my video was helpful, why don't you give this video a like, share this video, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. As always, see ya.